How scary is this female student? The little boy saw her a glance, was actually directly scared to pee on the pants. He kept shouting to her, I'm scared, go away. But she looks like a good and cute look. She looked at the girl sitting next to the car window with a dull expression. When Molly saw the pendant on her back, her expression became instantly frightened. A scene of unpleasant memories came to her mind. Then Molly panicked and got out of the car early. But what she never expected was the girl she met on the bus with a new transfer student in her class named Bella. And Molly seemed to be very scared of her. The teacher punishes Molly for being late by taking Bella around the school as a way to bond with her. When they arrived at the playground, Bella stopped walking and stared at the monument. That's when Molly told her something. A few months ago, there was an accident here. A female student fell to her death here. But Bella's expression was one of indifference. Did she know something? When Molly saw the pendant on her back again, she fled the place with a weak heart because the female classmate who jumped off the building is Molly's best friend since childhood. At the beginning, they both hung a pendant on their school bags to show their friendship. But since the death of her best friend, Molly's mental state is very unstable, and she has to rely on medication to maintain her. After class, some bullies saw that Bella had a modeling sense, and wanted to invite her to join them. But Bella didn't give them any face and left. The bullies thought no one would dare to treat them like that. They wanted to show Bella what the rules of the school were, so they decided to teach her a lesson. They went to the bathroom in private to discuss what to do. Cindy threatened Lily, the sidekick, and instructed her to harm Bella. Otherwise, Lily's fate will be even worse. Lily has no choice but to give in. At that moment, Molly receives a text message from Lily telling her to trick Bella into coming to the lab after school. Molly doesn't want to offend the bullies, so she lies that the teacher asked Bella to go to the lab with her to get something. When Molly sees Bella walk into the lab, she quickly runs out and locks the door tightly. To warn Bella, they plan to lock her up in the lab for a day, but they both messed with the wrong person. How scheming is this girl? She lured her classmate into the lab on the pretext of picking up something, then turned around and locked the door tightly. But as soon as she got home, she immediately regretted it. She was worried that something might have happened to Bella. So she grabbed the keys from her desk and rushed back to school. But the moment she opened the door, she found that Bella had disappeared. Just when she was wondering, she turned her head and saw Bella standing on the rooftop across the street. Is Bella going to jump off the roof? Molly quickly ran to the opposite building to rescue Bella. But all she saw was Bella sitting in a daze, humming a strange song. <laughs> Molly was very confused and could only say that it was very dangerous there. You should come quickly. Then Bella slowly stood up and opened his hands and then fell down. Molly saw the scene issued a piercing scream. She panicked and rushed downstairs to check the situation. Then she looked up and saw Bella's abdomen stuck in the middle of the pole. Her brain buzzed with fear. In a trance, Bella, who was stuck in the pole, suddenly became her best friend. The pendant on her back also fell to the ground when she was running away. She was so scared at night that she stayed up all night. On the bus, Molly kept mumbling that everything last night was not real. Just then, Bella was sitting next to her unharmed and took out the pendant she dropped last night. Molly was horrified. Bella said, this is what you dropped yesterday. At this moment, Molly in front of this woman in the end is a human or a monster. But Bella, who had always been unique, soon attracted the admiring eyes of her classmates. The only difference with the others is that Molly is looking at her back and feels nervous. Suddenly, a ball comes flying and knocks her out. She wakes up to find that it was just a nightmare. That's when Lily, the bully, comes looking for trouble. She asks Molly if she let Bella out of the lab last night. Molly denies it and specifically warns her not to mess with Bella because Bella is very mysterious and not easy to deal with. Don't mess with these three girls because they're really evil. If you piss them off, you'll get a whole bottle of chili in your pasta. They bring the pasta to Bella under false pretenses without Bella knowing. Just when they were expecting a good show, to their surprise, Bella ate it with great pleasure. She ate the bowl full of spaghetti with chili peppers without any expression. Their prank failed. Cindy decided to ignore Lily because she was not doing her job well. She is still a piece of shit who can't even deal with a transfer student. Yeah, that's funny. Lily followed them and apologized repeatedly. But Cindy continues to sneer and make fun of Lily for not even being able to afford the limo party entrance fee. Lily wasn't even qualified to be their friend. 
Then they laughed and walked away. Lily was upset. She couldn't just abandon the group of friends she'd managed to join so easily. She needed money, a lot of money, so she started targeting her classmates. Lily went through their wallets, but found very few bills. At this point, she walked down the street with her eyes, dully scanning all the passers be around her, and tries to get money by any means possible. At that moment, she set her eyes on a rich woman dressed in a gorgeous dress. So she immediately had a stupid idea. As she prepares to rob her, Bella suddenly appears behind her. Bella points to the man in front of her and says he can give you more money. Lily's consciousness is still very clear. Of course, she won't be easily fooled. At that moment, Bella charms her and says, I can't. Can't. Then Lily was possessed by a spell, and her mind was filled with the desire for money. Next, she somehow walked into room 901. While the man was in the shower, she secretly took the safe. Then she smashed the safe open with a brick. She opened the safe and was completely dumbfounded. There was only a dress, a clown mask and a pistol inside. So she put on and took the equipment to the store and forced the clerk to take out all the money. She succeeded in getting the money and counted it with great joy. Suddenly a coin rolled out. Lily rushed to the road to pick up the coins, but was hit by a speeding car. Instantly, Many of the bills fell into the air. Lily fell in a pool of blood, still holding the coin in her hand. All this was expected by Bella. The next day, the teacher announced Lily's death. Bella's expression was indifferent. She walked up to the monument as if she had accomplished something. More people were about to step into the path of her punishment. Guess who will be punished next? You can subscribe and leave comments if you have any ideas. See you next time.